Algebra 1, number 5.1a. We're talking about exponents in this unit and multiplying using exponents. In video 1.3a, way back in the beginning of the year, we learned about exponents. This would be read as 2 to the third power. The 2 is the base and the 3 is the exponent or power. It means 2 times 2 times 2. When an expression is written with exponents, it's written in exponential notation. Now remember, the exponent tells us how many times to multiply the base to itself. We don't multiply the base to the exponent. That would be wrong. 2 times 2 times 2 is not equal to 2 times 3, is it? When we multiply like bases written in exponential notation as an equation, we add the exponents together. 2 to the third power times 2 to the second power is equal to 2 to the third plus second power. So we get 2 to the fifth power. It's 2 times 2 times 2 multiplied to 2 times 2. See? We do this when the, number, the base numbers are the same. So here's the definition and the official product rule of exponents multiplying powers with like bases for any rational number a and for all whole numbers m and n. If we have a to the m power and we multiply it to a to the n power, it's going to equal a to the m plus n. Okay, so the m and n would take a place of numbers, right? And so would the a. All right, so let's take a look at this one. We've got 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And to write it in exponential notation, we say 3 to the fourth power because we have these like bases. These 3s are all the same, and there's four of them. And if we had 3 to the second power times 3 to the second power, we would add the 2 plus 2 and still get 3 to the fourth power. And even if it was 3 to the third power times a 3, see there's like a little invisible 1 there? It would be 3 to the 3 plus 1, see? It would be 3 to the fourth power because now we've got four 3s. We've got three of them here and a fourth one, see? Now this one we can actually answer because we can do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, see? 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, and 20 times 27 times 3 is 81. So this one can actually be answered where this one can't because we don't know what x stands for, do we? We don't know what number the x has taken the place of, but we can add the exponents together in this one, it's got the invisible 1, so we've got x times x to the second power times x to the fifth power, and it ends up becoming a 1 plus a 2 plus a 5. See? The invisible 1 plus the 2 plus the 5, we get x to the eighth power. It would be the same as saying this 1x, 2x's, and 5x's. We add all the x's up together because all these bases are the same, and we get x to the eighth power. And the product rule for exponents allows us to add the exponents to like bases. Let's look at this one. Now that it's in parentheses, we've got x to the third power in parentheses next to multiplied to y to the second. And then when these are together, that means to multiply, right? When two parentheses are together, this one is x to the third power and y to the fifth power. We combine these like bases. We just rearrange it so that these x's are together and the y's are together, and we get x to the third plus third power and y to the second plus fifth power, and we simplify it to x to the sixth power and y to the seventh power. We just add them up, total them, and rewrite it like that. So if you see it like this, this is how it will be when it's all simplified, see? All right, so we do not multiply the base numbers when they are written in exponential expression, we just add the exponents, okay? So if the bases are the same, just add the exponents. Now let's look at this one. We've got 4 to the second power times 4 to the third power. Just combine them and add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5, see? And even if there was a variable here, and it was 4x to the third power and 4x to the second power, we'd have 4x to the fifth power. And even if there were a bunch of variables, 4xyz to the third and 4xyz to the second, it would come out as 4xyz to the fifth. See? Now, what we need to remember, though, is, and I think we talked about this back in the beginning of the year, when the exponent is on the inside of the parentheses, like this one right here, it's only the exponent for the number or variable that it's next to. That exponent is only for the x. 
So 2x to the third power inside of parentheses means 2 times x times x times x. It doesn't affect the 2. It's just to the third power for that x. When the exponent is on the outside of the parentheses, it's the exponent to each number or variable on the inside. So now, with this third power on the outside of the parentheses, it means 2 to the third power times x to the third power. It would be 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x times x. Big difference, huh? So remember the inside and the outside. Inside only affects the one it's next to. Outside affects everybody, like distributive property, OK? So you can see this video's description for links to the previous videos or similar or helpful videos that are going to be on this topic, OK? If you're confused or want a little more information. So that's multiplying using exponents. In our next video, 5.1b, we're going to talk about dividing using exponents. Okay? I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you there. Bye.